Have you ever wanted to make an arcade stick, but you thought it was going to be way too expensive uh, or way too hard? Well, this video, I show you how you can make one like this for only $20. All right. So, first thing you're going to need is you are going to need your kit or your buttons, your joystick, all that good stuff. Now, what I did was I got a kit for $18.99. The link will be down below off Amazon where it's got a nice joystick. It's got a nice click to it. It feels nicer than I thought it was going to for how cheap it was. All the buttons, the board, the wires, everything, $18.99. Then you're also going to need some type of enclosure. You could just use a shoe box, a uh, USPS box. But what I decided to do was go to the Home Depot because Home Depot has a free wood bin, which is scrap wood. So we got this piece of wood. That's going to be the top. And then these are going to be the sides and bottom. Now, I just bought this one long piece, and it was only $1.74, but it was in the 70% off bin. So after tax, it was only $0.80. Cents. So this whole build will cost me under $20 still, $19.80. I'm also gonna paint it and everything, but that's all gonna be with stuff I already have, and that's all totally optional. Now, the nice thing about the Home Depot is, they cut all this wood, they, the dude took this, I told him what I was doing, he's like, oh, well, okay, I can figure that out for you. He just measured it, it all came out freaking perfect. I'll put a clip right there of him doing it. So, super awesome, thank you so much. And uh, we are pretty much already ready to start building. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my belt sander, we're gonna sand everything a little nicer, we're gonna drill some pilot holes, and we are gonna build the frame first, and we can get right into it. This should be pretty easy and a whole lot of fun. All right, guys, we got some Street Fighter, and uh, let's have some fun here. You know what? When I was a kid, I always loved E-Honda, so we're gonna play as E-Honda. So I got the start and select buttons right here, an extra hole drill if I ever need to add a PlayStation button. And it feels actually pretty nice. Come on, Blanca, you're going down, buddy. Blanca's making me work for it. Oh, come on! Let go of me, you filthy animal. Oh. Okay, I shook the... 
I shook the controller and it jiggled the USB cord. So that's why I did that. My computer it jiggled out of the computer a little bit. But we're good. All right. Suck it, Blanca. E Honda, baby. Is he dumb enough to just keep walking into this? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that like a glitch with this game that you can do that? Because that seems pretty cheap. <laughs> I guess they can still grab you. Boom! Boom! Right, guys this was a whole lot of fun i think it came out freaking awesome it looks beautiful and it cost me almost nothing at all um just because i used this board that i can only do on pc i'm limited to this the games i have on emulators but um i'm gonna keep playing with this and if i get a little better at using it it's gonna encourage me to make more like a more top of the line one that i can use on my ps4 or even ps5 so let me know down below if you guys want to see that thanks for watching and i'll see you later